Something, something, something radio. Hey, we bringing y'all inside the studio. Some, some, some radio. It's your host. You know who? <laughs> funny, funny guy. <laughs> now y'all know who the host is. It's revealed. It's me, guys. Go Sean figure. is your host. <laughs> nah, man. It's we wonder. Yeah, that. Oh, she just got that water from on uh, inside the Fairfield Marriott. It's a uh, lime water. Good for you. Anyway, um, we just wanted to switch it up a little bit so y'all can have like a deeper, more inside look about what we really, what we really doing, and how we really living, and how how we we living what we talking about. We not just talking about it, you know. So it's been a it's been a great week, man. Real life, great week. Wouldn't you say? I don't remember everything that happened. I need I need to go look. See, I'm I, I'm real. Let me see. I gotta look at like pictures <laughs> to remind me of or, or like well, the Monday calendar. Was float therapy, therapy. Oh, Monday we were still in Louisville. Yeah, Monday we were still in Louisville. Yeah. So, oh, Cedrica did float therapy. I couldn't do it because I got ear problems and I didn't want to get my hair wet. I'm a little diva on the road. <laughs> All right. How so? I mean. I enjoyed the experience. The fact of the matter that you have to wash your hair before getting into the float was a little um, chaotic for Sean. So she declined her service, but you know, I had a little shower cap that I was able to protect my hair, but it was very relaxing and soothing. Um, just, I don't know, the science to floating without having nothing to do with it. All you have to do is just lay there and lay relax there and that. just allow your thoughts to roam and it's good for depression stress excuse me um anxiety um inflammation all things you could think of like float therapy is the way to go i highly recommend it recommend anyone trying it as a form of therapy sweet and that was actually before that we went to like a salt water therapy is that what it's called oh yeah a salt pool a salt water Healing pool. Healing pool. It was so sweet. Oh my gosh, I did not want to get out of that thing, man. I really didn't. And people are using these things as alternatives to surgery. The woman who took us, um, she actually was supposed to have her knee replaced, and she didn't want to go through that. She's like, I can heal on my own, and she's been going to this healing pool and being healed. Like she's walking with no limp or anything like she's been healed she seeing really kids is. in there like oh my gosh that, like kids that do um physical therapy and they, she was telling the story about a little girl who literally could not walk she was born like that something was going on with her legs but she comes to the healing pool and she, she you could never tell literally walking like she has a walker but she wasn't even using it i was like that's amazing like there's so many holistic healing options out here y'all so that was monday Tuesday. Tuesday. I'm looking for the picture. Excuse me, guys. Oh, Monday we also got to tour Bloom um, Elementary. And we got to speak with... Um, she's a mindful expert. No, meditation. What, what's the word? Mindful coach at a school. Thank They're you. implementing this new she curriculum. Knew the, she knew it all along. I did, and I was <laughs> thinking of it. I was really thinking about it. So they um, implementing this mindful curriculum, this mindfulness curriculum. Uh, at the school in Louisville, Kentucky, and we got to visit it and like pick up some of the, you know, she she shares some of the things that she's doing as we travel. You know, these are things that we definitely can incorporate into what we're doing as well. Very very cool stuff, and I can't wait to share it with y'all. I don't want to give away too many secrets, you know. You know what I'm I mean, we have to make y'all pay for a subscription if y'all want to keep. It's like, nah, I'm just playing. Everything we do is free, y'all. Uh. Did you get this Tuesday yet? All right, Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday. Oh, we had a celebration Tuesday. We had a going away party. The people in Louisville threw us a party. It was truly a surprise. No, but before that, we have been having Joy Blazer issues. And Shantice, and along with someone that we met in Louisville, Sammy Joe's husband helped replace the spark plugs on this truck to get us to where we are today. Because... Oh yeah, we changed we were the spark a lot plug. of hesitation. We, we gave it a tune up. It won nothing, you know. <laughs> She's a pro now. A pro. But our friend Hakeem put together a surprise dinner for us in which we were not expecting those the faces that we saw there, but it so was sweet. definitely amazing. Very thoughtful. No one's ever done a, a one away yeah. party for us. That was really nice. Felt kinda important. <laughs> 
to seal the deal. Um, but the following day, Wednesday. On Wednesday, we headed out. Um, arrived in Charleston, West Virginia. We needed we needed a little break. Like Wednesday, Thursday, we was just out for the count. Like just trying to get our mental together. Like that the transition from one state to another another is is really is heavy. It's a lot of like I don't know. It's still stuff that I haven't done yet for real. I don't know that I need to. It's a lot of work though. I'm I'm really feeling like kind of tired. I'm a little tired. Mm, that's okay. We've been working and we have to honor our bodies and know that we need to rest as well and, you know, take care of us and do what we need to do for us because you can't pour from an empty cup. I sure can't pour from no empty cup, so mm. I'm, I'm going to do what I got to do to get myself together, you know? Yeah. I just definitely need a couple couple, couple hours, days, something. However long it take, my body will let me know. Yes. So we've been currently, still currently looking for housing, but we're smiling. Like, we had to spend a few nights in this truck. It was uncomfortable, but we nope. do it out of love, out of passion, out of purpose. It's a faith mission. Don't ever forget that. But it's spiritual, not religious. <laughs> Yesterday, we got to um, be a part of the recovery walk here and we just been bumping elbows with the mayors. Oh, yeah. You know? We got to meet like, the mayor here, Amy, Amy Goodwin. Goodwin. Yep. She's really, really cool. The people love her. I mean, I yeah. loved her. I only knew her for about 10 minutes. <laughs> I mean, she's so cool. Like, why are you so cool? Right. Like, just so funny, so full of life. Like, but, you know, about her business. Mm -hmm. So, um, And our friend Ashley, she oh, gravitated. Yes. Like, everyone, like, this shirt is, like, saves Magnet. lives. It's, it, it, people gravitate to us just from wearing this shirt. And conversations are had. Stories are shared. And we got to have a platform to speak about humanity and also give some encouraging words to people in recovery, people who are still, you know, striving to be clean and also to hear about the many laws that they're implementing for um, ex-offenders ex -offenders who are re-entering to society, like giving them back their rights to making decisions, letting them know that, you know, just because you made a mistake does not mean that you're not worthy of, you know, making decisions in the legislator, late, legislative. <laughs> <laughs> I need help from my wingman. My wingman don't be, you know, coming through. But you know what I mean. Um, you know, just hearing those changes and nonviolent offenders like expungement, like no question asked, like. We need other states to hop on the bandwagon and think of the lives of people who made mistakes. Um, giving them their rights back. Letting letting us know because I am an ex-felon myself and I was thrilled to hear this news. It was, you know, music to my ears because it's it's been hard for me, you know, being a felon, trying to survive and, you know, be a human being in this world and know remind myself that i'm worthy of you know success in these jobs and you know being told no because i made a mistake is kind of you know it's more hurtful i think but moving on um. <laughs> we don't gotta move on we do what we want to do this is something 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 ready yo we do what we want to do when we want to do it yeah no, nah, what it was, it was a great evening. Um, it was great to just, just celebrate with them, honestly. Like, they they were cool people, man. We, we got to talk to a lot of people out there. If you want to check it out, it's actually on our Facebook now. Um, just fast forward to, like, 39 minutes in the video. But check it out. Humanity 365. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. All that. Twitter, whatever, you know. Um, what else did we do that day? Saturday. We attended another little event, a church I event. Everything's not necessary. Right. Oh, but Barry. Barry. Barry was Saturday. Yes, that was just today. Oh my gosh, we got a whole another story for Barry. Barry got his own. Barry got his own story. Yeah, Barry has his own story. And, and so, uh, actually, I'm, I'm gonna let y'all hear Barry's story. I'm, I'm gonna let y'all go right now. Hey, after this. I'm I'm putting up Barry's story after this. I'm not even going to attach it to this. Barry going to have his own story. It's going to be called Barry's story. <laughs> it's Blackberry. <you> know. 
<laughs> we do not make this stuff up. <laughs> like God puts puts us in places where we're meant to be um, for our own good and for the good of the people as well. So we are honored to be a blessing when we can. I'm definitely excited. Yes. I stay excited. I don't know what <laughs> Even when I ain't doing my work, I'm still excited. Nah, but we love y'all. You know, we hope y'all have a great week. And we, we, we thank y'all for supporting us and still keeping up on this journey with us, man. We got a long way to go, man. Y'all got to stick with us. Stick with us. Month nine, and we're still thriving. The Joy Tour. <laughs> And I know some of y'all want to join, too. Y'all need to hit us up if y'all trying to join, because eventually there's going to be spaces for y'all. And, you know, we ain't letting everybody come now. All right? Now nah, we love y'all. Y'all be good, man. Peace. Peace out.